professional development. How are you going to develop at this firm? I'm going to go through this very quickly because you're doing that right now. You're developing professionally. This course is helping you take the exams so that you can be a licensed architect. Now, maybe at your firm, that means you will get an immediate raise. Maybe not. Um, maybe they don't need more licensed architects. Maybe it means you're going to go off and start your own firm someday. Um, I would strongly encourage anyone to be, become licensed that is qualified to do that. It's definitely worth it. But I will say not all firms are going to compensate you for that. Possibly your firm is paying for this training course. Um, some do, uh, possibly not. So that's something you have to look at. Um, your development is going to be about much more than just the CAD program you can use. Business skills, project management skills, supervising people, presentation, writing skills. Okay, so I can't tell you how many times I've heard, well, I'm an architect, you know, I don't have to be good at writing. I, I wasn't good in English ever. Well, guess what? Get good because you're going to write reports. You're going to write specifications. You need to know how to write, or at least the basics. You don't have to be a great novelist, but you do need to know the basics of good writing. Um, mentoring, you need a good mentor. Um, it's important. It's not just for your AXP, is it now? IDP is what it was. I know that's what I still say, so I apologize if I, if I don't say it right. Um, but but that is a really important thing to know somebody that you can look to and ask questions in the type of work that you want to do. Performance goals, issues, your continuing education, all this is tremendously important. And so you want to look at that. Um, business operations and corporate knowledge. Okay, so we're going to talk about corporate knowledge throughout this course. It is tremendously important. Um, it is the historical knowledge in your firm. It is what you're looking to achieve. And, and it is why you will be or will not be hired most of the time. So knowledge management, how you identify it, capture it, standardize, standardize it, um, how are your files kept at your office? Is there a very strict filing system? There should be. I should be able to walk in your office, look at how your files are set up, and find any project that you've worked on. And everything should be in those folders. Are they? Not often. But um, setting one up and keeping it standardized is incredibly important because you wouldn't believe how many people have called and said, we really like this building and we saw it. And so we want you because you designed that other building. Oh, no. Do I still have those plans? Could I find them? What are they talking about? What did they like about it? You need to know. So your framework, your documentation of your corporate um, knowledge and your knowledge management is, is incredibly important. KM is knowledge management, okay? Manage your knowledge. Communicate the knowledge that you have. That's also very important. Letting people know that you did design that building or that you do have experience in restaurant design. If they don't know you exist, they don't think you exist. Um, the economy of your knowledge, is it valuable? Can you market it? Um, the architectural process, is, it, is there somebody that has the corporate knowledge in your firm for your architectural process and how important is that? Staying current with technology, with monitoring, that's all a piece that falls into that category. <laughs>